Hello everyone, Shaling here and welcome back to the Rainbow Six Siege Intel Report. So, we have what's dubbed the Mid-Season Reinforcement Patch, which makes some major changes to three of the operators in the game, along with a host of other tweaks and changes as well. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the changes in this particular video, but I'm going to talk about the three main changes to the operators, as well as some of the bigger changes to the game. And then I will leave a link in the description box below if you want to check out some of the other smaller tweaks and balance changes that they have made with this particular patch. So first up we have the changes to Twitch and I think they are significant to say the least. Now at the preparation phase instead of having a normal drone Twitch is going to have a shock drone during that phase which is going to obviously have the ability to destroy cameras and the defenders gadgets before the round even starts. So this is definitely something that's going to change the game up and definitely something that's going to cause the defenders to be a little bit cautious if there is a Twitch on the other team. On top of that, Twitch is going to get two shock drones at the start of the round instead of the two normal drones. Now, the patch notes are not clear whether or not the drone you dropped during the preparation phase is included in those two drones. So if that gets destroyed, you only have one. But the other thing is that if she has two drones on the field, Twitch will be able to switch between them without one of them being destroyed like the normal drone setup, like the normal setup with the other operators. On top of that, the drones are going to move 30% faster, so that's going to put them on par with the normal drones in the game. These shock drones are also going to create less noise when moving, and the red light on the model has been removed, so in certain situations, I would imagine these drones are going to be a little bit harder to spot. And the range of the darts with the drones has also been increased from 5 meters to 7 meters. I think these changes are pretty big indeed and I definitely think we're going to see a lot more of Twitch. Next up we have the changes to Blackbeard and most of you are probably going to be pretty happy about that including me. Unless of course you're the one playing Blackbeard then maybe you'll be a, bit, a little bit sad about these changes. But according to the patch notes uh, Blackbeard's pick ratio and win ratio have shown that he's extremely powerful. But what they've done is instead of just having one shield with 800 hit points now Blackbeard now has two shields and he can cycle between them by equipping and unequipping them and the hit points, and this is the big thing, the hit points of the shields have been reduced from 800 hit points down to 150. So that's a significant reduction in the health of these shields. They are going to be destroyed much more easily than before and this is going to force the Blackbeard player to be a little bit more cautious and decide when he's going to use or not use these particular shields. And also obviously with these changes they've added a UI to reflect the health of each of the respective shields. Moving on, the next change comes with Doc now. Doc's ability is situational at best I suppose. So in the time that I've played Siege I haven't seen a lot of Doc players in many of the matches that we've played. Of course there's an occasional person who plays Doc and personally I've never really played Doc much at all because I just don't think his ability is all that useful. But now the changes that they've made to Doc are actually pretty significant indeed. Not only can his darts now revive teammates, but they can also heal wounded teammates. And this is a massive change. So by shooting darts at people, you can heal them for 40 hit points per dart. Um, if I recall correctly, he has three darts. And on top of the ability to heal both himself and other teammates, he can also now overheal a fully healed teammate or himself by shooting darts at them up to a total of 120 health points for a limited amount of time. And once the overheal has kicked in, of course this is temporary and the health will decrease by one point every two seconds until the operator gets back to 100 points of health. These are pretty big changes indeed and I think with this change, the ability to overheal people, if you have a rook on your team and you buff up your heaviest operator, yeah, the guy's going to be harder to kill, he's going to have a lot of health. Another big change is there are some new gadgets that have been introduced both to the attackers and the defenders. So let's talk about the attackers first. The Claymore. Yay! Some attackers can now use a Claymore mine, which is a deployable gadget that's going to cover their backs while they progress forward. So when you're flanking or you're sitting in a vulnerable position like sniping or you're droning, you can plant a Claymore at certain locations. And if a defender crosses on any of the three laser beams, it's going to explode in a front facing directional pattern. It's going to stop the run out of building or rush around the corner kills um, if these things are placed correctly. However, not all of the attackers are going to get claymores. Uh, according to the patch notes, only the players who mostly play support roles are going to benefit from having these claymores. 
So the changes are as follows. Thatcher loses his stun grenade and gets a claymore. Twitch loses her stun grenade and gains a claymore. Glass loses his breaching charges and gets the claymore. And finally Thermite loses his stun grenades and breaching charges and instead gains smoke grenades and claymores since they consider Thermite to be a mostly support orientated attacker. Um, and they feel that also smoke grenades will fit better with his playstyle than stun grenades. And so moving on to the defenders, defenders now have access to the impact grenade, which is obviously as the name suggests a grenade that explodes on impact or after one second of throwing it, which is perfect for close range firefights according to the patch notes and can be used to open holes in the environment. Definitely a nice addition indeed. Now again, not all of the defenders are going to get uh, impact grenades and the reason they state in the patch notes for introducing something like impact grenades was to reduce the amount of nitro cells amongst the defenders and also give the defenders a more active option to defend themselves, especially those who mostly use their unique abilities during the preparation phase. So Caviera loses her nitro cell and gains impact grenades. Castle loses his barbed wires and gains impact grenades. Smoke loses his nitro cell and gains impact grenades. And finally, Rook loses his barbed wire and gains impact grenades. I think both the claymores and impact grenades are going to change things up significantly in the game. So finally we have new attachments for the weapons, the muzzle break for pistols, which diminishes the recoil on the first shot, putting an emphasis on precision. Uh, this has been applied to a number of different weapons. So finally we have the heavy barrel, and with this attachment equipped at long distance, you will do a little bit more damage, or at least you won't lose so much damage, but in trading for extra recoil. So according to the patch notes, there's going to be less fall off damage with this equipped, which will vary per weapon, you'll get around 10 to 20% damage increase at longer ranges, but of course at a cost of recoil. And again, this has been applied to a number of different weapons. And finally, there, there were some general tweaks and improvements. Uh, Valkyrie now has three black eye cameras versus four, which you had before. IQ and Montagna will now be able to deploy and unequip their gadgets faster. So before patch 4.2 it took 1.5 seconds for them to deploy and equip or unequip their respective gadgets and after patch 4.2 it's only going to take one second and um, I don't think I'm going to read through all the rest because there's lots of little bits and pieces of information but what I, what I will do as I said at the beginning of the video is I'm going to leave the link in the description box below uh, there have been some changes to Twitch's 4117 Bucks cameras uh, Fuses 6P41 and Ashes G36C, Rook and Docs P90, Mute MP5K, Blackbeard's MK17 CQB and Frost 9mm C1. But uh, yeah, the link is in the description box below guys. If you want to read all these little changes, you can go through them yourselves. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the major changes that they've introduced with regard to the operators and the new gadgets that have included. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the section below. And what do you guys think of these changes? Personally, I think they're great. I think they're really, really nice and they are going to change up the meta in a good way. But otherwise, guys, that wraps it up for this video. I've been Shaoling. Until next time.